Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's tutorial, we are going to create this amazing 3D letter effect. So if you also want to create this, then keep watching our video till the end. Because at the end, you are going to see some more examples just like this. Okay guys, so now without any further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, here we are in Canva interface and we are going to select this Instagram post blank page. And after selecting this, here we have our page. So guys, we are going to adjust it a little bit so that it is going to appear properly. Okay guys, so it's done. After adjusting the page, we are selecting here a text box. So we are adding here this text box. Okay, after adding the text box here, we are going to write in this love. And after writing this, we are moving to this font option. I'm going to select the style of this font. So we are going to search here for TT Masters font. Okay guys, so here it is. So we are just going to select it. And after selecting it, here we have our effect. Okay, after doing this, we are increasing the size of this text. And after doing so, we are going to remove here O. Okay, and after removing the O, we are creating here a space so that we can fit here the element which we want. So as you can see, the blank space is created. So after this, we are moving to elements option. And now here we are searching for heart. After searching for hearts, we have here so many options available already on it. So we are searching here for an appropriate one. Also guys, while we are searching here, a video is flashing in your eye button. So you can check out that video as well after watching this one. So guys, we are going to select this heart and its name is Black Heart Doodle. So we are simply selecting it and then we are going to replace that O's position from this herd as you can see here. Okay guys, so let me send this text first of all to backside so that it will not interrupt our designing. And now after doing this, we are going to adjust this herd properly here. Okay, now removing the extra space here and it's done. After this, just adjusting this herd a little bit more. Okay guys, so it's done now. After this, we are just grouping these two elements together. Okay, after doing so, adjusting it at the middle of the page. After this, we are going to change the color of all the elements here to white. First of all, we change the color of the text and now we are changing the color of heart also to white. Okay guys, so now it's done. After this, we are downloading this page in the transparent background. As you can see here. Okay guys, so it's downloaded. After downloading it, we are going to upload it. So for that, we are adding here a new page so that we can upload it in the new page. After adding a new page, we are going to upload this option and then into this upload file option. And now from here, we are uploading here that love text. Okay, so it's done guys. After this, we are going to select this text and then afterwards we are going to set a background here so that the text appeared properly. So we are searching here for background. Okay, so now exploring here any background which will suit our design. So let me find out here. Okay, so I think this background is looking quite good. So that's why I'm selecting it. 
and after selecting it we are going to set it as background so selecting the set image as background option okay now after this we are trimming here the extra part as you can see in the love text Okay, now increasing the size of the text a little bit and now it's done. Okay guys, I think this background is not look much good. So that's why I'm searching here for a new background. So I'm searching here for pink gradient and now searching here for some background that will fit properly here. Okay guys, so while I'm searching here the background if till now you're liking our video then please hit the like button below our video. Do subscribe our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time whenever we post a new stuff. Share this video with the one who needs it guys. Okay guys so I found this cool background so I just set this image as background here because I think it's looking quite good. Okay, now after this, we are selecting here this shadow option and applying this glow shadow option on the love text. And now after doing this, we are going to set here some adjustments. For example, we are setting here the size to 40, transparency to 100 and blur to 0. And after this, we are going to find an appropriate color for the text. So we are searching here for the text color and trying different different colors so the color which I find super I'm going to apply that here okay so I think the red color looks super cool here so that's why I'm going to stick to red and now applying and trying different shades of red here so I think this one looks most good here. Okay guys, now after this we are again moving to edit image option and now applying here this curved shadow effect in the love text. Okay guys, so now it's done. After this, we are going to move again to the uploads option and then going to upload one more duplicate portion of this love text. But before that, we increase the size of this love text a little bit. So now moving to upload option and selecting this love text once again. Okay, now after selecting this, we are going to adjust it in the same way like the previous love text. And actually in the way that it will coincide the previous text as you can see here also guys if you want to know about more such cool ideas then you can check out our canva playlist the link is in the description box okay guys so i think now it's completely aligned to the previous text so now after doing this we are again using here this added image option and after selecting it, again going to the shadows option and now again applying this glow effect. Okay guys, after applying this glow effect, we are going to set here some configurations. So for now, we are setting here the transparency to maximum and size to 20 instead of 40 so that both the text will appear properly and separately. And now setting the blur to zero. Okay, now after this applying a proper color for it, so again we are selecting here this red color and now setting here another shade of the red color. So guys, I think this color looks the most good among all. So I'm just going to stick to this color. Okay guys, now after doing this, we are going to upload here one last time this love text and after uploading it, we are going to overlap this new text on the previous ones. So just cropping the extra part here and after cropping, just adjusting it in the previous text.
I know guys this process is little bit of time taking but believe me if we will do it with full dedication and hard work then the results are going to be overwhelming for you all so please do it and try it at least once Okay guys so now I think it is done properly and now after this to give it the final touch we are going to apply in this this drop effect Okay guys so after applying this drop effect you can see we almost achieved our three effect so to give it final touch we are going to shift this above front letter a little bit Okay guys now trying the different backgrounds so that I will achieve a background that will suits the most so I think this background looks pretty cool It's time to download it So I'm downloading it here in the PNG format So guys after downloading it here we have our final post. So, what do you think about this 3D letter portrait? Let us know in the comment section. Also, we have some more examples for you like this one. Also, like this one. And the final one is this one. So guys, share your comments about all these 3D letter portraits. And now, that's it for today's video. We will meet you in next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care of your lovely selves.